What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Craft Beer Cult. I'm Joe. I'm Fred. I'm Tap. And today we're checking out Branch and Blade out of Keene, New Hampshire, which is uh, definitely one of the New Hampshire's well sought after breweries, we it should say. Definitely is making a name for itself. Yeah, they're they're one of the top contenders in the state. I'm a big They've fan of them. Only been around since like 2018, too. Yeah, they haven't been around young. a long time. Tap, a lot of these breweries are younger than I think we realize. Yeah, started by a rugby guy, right? Rugby guy. Rugby. Well, we have much rugby in New Hampshire, but I hope he knows how to make good beer. Well, speaking of breweries in New Hampshire, I'd just like to say a final farewell to Tilton Brothers in Hampton, New Hampshire. We're Fine. closing their doors this week. Oh, that sucks. You're telling me this on air? I didn't hear that. Mm. Sorry. Really? Anyway, we back to Branch and Blade. Yeah, R.I.P. Tilton This Brothers. is Heaven and Earth. This is a Kolsch. Right off the top, um, the smell is amazing. Citrusy. I'm getting more berry. You're getting berry? I'm, I'm smelling like, almost like bananas and oh, stuff. Maybe a little bit banana. Not that there's banana in here. I, I don't agree know. with the uh, citrusy one. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, a little bit of malt. A little bit of bombshell with that Tilton Brothers information. I'm still processing that too. Yeah, I love their beer too. Yeah, that hurt. But, um, sorry. Yeah, but anyway, back to the branch of blade. Back to branch so I, and blade. I, I do like this, but this is kind of like more for me. It's a little it's out of wrong, season. Yeah, it's the wrong time of year. The, I could well, be drinking this up at the lake. You miss the lake, huh? I do. We all do. Well, for a rating, I mean, this is good. It's got a slight biscuity flavor to it, fruity, a little sweetness. It's not bad at all. <laughs> I like it. <coughs> Fuck. Gazuntite. Bless you. I ignore that. What sure. are you gonna rate it there, Tap? You know, for all the Kolsch's I've had recently with that beer advent calendar and stuff, this is freaking really good. So I'm going to go high and I'm going to go eight. <laughs> Finally got a good Kolsch, huh? Eight. Joe? Eight's heavy for a Kolsch, I feel, Tap. Uh, I do think it's a good yeah. beer. It's one of the better Kolsch's I've had. I feel like I say that every time I have a Kolsch, though, you know? But this, this, sorry, was more flavorful. Do we um, need an ambulance? No, you're good. I just, okay. you know, wrong pipe. Uh, this was a lot more flavorful on top of the traditional Kolsch flavor, so it, it stood out. I liked it. I'll go six, because that's probably as high as I'll go for a Pilsner. You probably gave that Goody Two Shoes a six if we go back and look. Mm. Probably something similar, yeah. Well, well, it was Exhibit A, right? I'm going to go a 7.25, because I do like this. It's very, very drinkable. Good. It is um, drinkable. It's very it's crisp. Good. And uh, the one thing I, I want to say about this beer is I think it was a good beer to start with the brewery. Because it really shows the quality that even in the Kolsch, the quality is high. So I'm looking forward to the next two. Really looking forward to this Mai Tai one. So we're looking at about a combined rating of 7 and an 8. So. We're right. going to finish this up. Cheers. And we're going to get back to you with Mai Tai, the fruited sour. Can we talk a little bit more about this Tilton Brothers thing? And our second beer from Branch and Blade Brewing. Second beer is one I can't wait for. Is the I Just Want to Be Puree. Mai Tai. Mai Tai Sour Ale. 5% alcohol content. This one was full of aroma. As soon as we cracked it open, that's all you could yeah, smell. Yeah, you, you, you were happy. It hit me pretty hard. I it saw the awesome. happiness it's a on your face. Pineapple, you orange, it. and lime sour ale. Yeah. Huh. I mean, it definitely smells like a boat drink. Wow. That's an awesome. Holy one. pineapple. Pineapple's definitely there. Definitely pineapple. In the finish. Mm -hmm. The beginning is all um, it's all orange and lime, I think. It tastes very juicy in the beginning. I can taste it's the orange very juicy. at the end, too. It's got a little tart. Um, it's pretty tasty. Yeah. Really tasty. A lot not, of flavors. Not ridiculously thick. It's a little thick. Well, it does have lactose in it. Ah. <laughs> Did you look that up? I actually called Branch and Blade a few minutes ago. Did just you? to confirm Did that there was lactose in it. No, it's all right. You were that worried about it, huh? Well, a lot of beers I haven't lactose in it now, but I don't hate it. I think it well, makes I, a good I just, sour. You know, it, it's a different tasting sour for me. It's not the same old, same old that we've had. It's not a Berliner we Weiss with some flavors added exactly. to it. It's definitely got more of a texture. It does. And it's not like the not smoothies that, that we've had either. This isn't, I don't like this. The this, this is kind of like... It's an in-between. It's a it great in happy medium. It's not great happy medium. Right. It's not your light Berliner Weiss, no, like not. you said. And it's not the smoothie. It, it's not like the smoothie. No shake. The, the, yeah, the slushy type stuff that we've had too. I gotta say, before we started this whole craft beer adventure, I was a heavy mixed drink person. No. 
Mai Tai was definitely one of my favorite drinks, especially at a Chinese restaurant. Yeah. And I would say that this beer is the perfect blend of a mixed drink and a beer. What are you going to rate it, Joe? Rate it? Oh. Eight point seven five. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah. yeah. You gave Hitting her close to an eight a minute ago. Hitting the high notes. I didn't there. see that coming though from you, Joe. Joe's throwing money out there. Yeah. Go ahead, Fred. Um, I'm gonna give this one a seven and a half. This is a tasty sour. I do like this. I'm gonna go with a seven and three quarters. The thing I will say is, as high as I rated it, I don't think I could have more than two. It's uh. It's not a, a beer you drink a lot of, but it's a good beer to sip on. Oh, I can see this tearing up your stomach the next day. Yeah. Sure. Show all the citrus and the acid. Yeah. Um, yeah, you have one of these. You have one of these, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> one for a good flavor and maybe mix it with vodka. So we're probably Ooh. Uh, right <laughs> around an eight or so. I think at the Somewhere end of the day. in there, yeah. yeah. It deserved it. it we're going to finish this up. Cheers. And we're going to get back to you with Born Sinner. The mainstay. Their, their mainstay flagship IPA. Can't wait. Cheers. Cheers. That's your tap. Our third installment from Branch and Blade is their flagship IPA. It comes in about 7% alcohol content. Fred, what's the name? Born Sinner. I can relate. Just yeah. like me. <laughs> Joey can relate. Right off the top, I mean, the nose is... Dank and hoppy. Very emphasis on dank. Skunky. Dank. Yeah, that's that's definitely a dank beer. Yeah. Definitely falls into the dank IPA category for sure. Mm, my favorite category is IPAs. Huh? Almost like a grapefruit bitter. Yeah, strong. This definitely a strong grapefruit flavor. I was thinking slight, the same thing. Slight lemon almost. A little zest. Yeah, so I'm not a big zest. grapefruit guy. That's why I just I can't place it. But you're probably right. That's probably what it is. Um, but I'm also. I don't know. What was that saying? Great. That dankness Never. really follows through. I'm getting that dank. It is a little bitter. Yeah, it is a little bitter. To me, this it's is pretty one of the, smooth. Though, this is one of the best dank, danky IPAs we've had in a, in a long time. It's I enjoy this guy. Idea. This is good. I like it. Yeah. What are you gonna rate it there, Tap? You know, I'm giving this one an eight. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a I'll match that solid eight. Eight? Can see eight. That. I'm gonna do a 7.75. Of course you are. Yeah, why why agree? Yeah, of course. Uh, so we're we're basically at a 7.9. It's gonna eight seven. Whatever. Close enough. It's really good, is All what right. I'm trying to say. I but like it and I think it's really good and it's dank and overall, if overall, you want to rate the brewery based on these three beers. Here we go. Yeah. What would you give it? I would rate the, the beers, I mean, across the board, they're all really good. Yes. And there's not many breweries that we've had a selection of beers from that I can say that. So across the board, I'd, I'd give it a, a solid eight for their beers. I mean, that's pretty coincides with what I've been rated the beers. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree. Joe? Um, I'm going to go ahead and say it's an eight. I agree completely. It's, it's a solid brewery. I've been looking forward to trying them for a while. Uh, I've had a few before, but I can't really put my brain to what I've had exactly from yeah. Yeah. Those beer fest things get confusing. Yeah, There's a lot true. there. Those little but glasses add up, you know? These, and I think I've had a few cans from them before as well. I don't think I have. No? I haven't. I will definitely be, anytime I see them in a beer store, I'll definitely be trying some more of this. This has been all quality stuff. Even the Kolsch, you could tell, like I said in the beginning, the Kolsch was a good quality beer. This was well put together with a ton of great flavors, great mm. combination. One of the best sours I've had in a while. Um, as far as mixed drink themed beers go, that one takes the cake. And even this is a danky great IPA. They've just nailed it across the board. I agree. You know what? I'm going to go, I'm gonna go 8.5. Prop. I want to change mine. They got that extra 0.5 in that. Three so out of three. Well over an eight now. Yeah, I was going to go with 7.75. I mean, it kind of coincided with what I rated the beer. So, yeah. fair enough. Overall, but it will end up right at like 8.15 or 1.7, something like that. Something like that. So, like I said, the, uh, the fact that they nailed three out of three good beers from what we tried, uh, it gives me hope. I can't for wait the to try more. Yeah, it gives me hope for the, the others. Well, I just had to plan another trip. All right, I guess we're going back. But thanks for joining us. I've Cheers. Been 
Joe. Cheers, everybody. Happy drinking. Thanks. Cheers. This is Tap. Hazy Joe over here. Got Fred. We've been the Craft Beer Cult. Thanks for joining us today. Don't be afraid to send us what you're drinking. Yeah. We love to know. <laughs>